Hey guys and girls, I just want to hop on here quickly and tell you that uh, if you're using the internet for your work abroad, no matter where it is, I highly recommend getting a UPS battery bank. It'll uh, help save you a lot of headaches. So what that'll do is if there's power outages, that'll kick in and you won't, uh, you won't lose power to your, your router or whatever device you're using, as long as it's plugged into that device, the UPS battery bank. Anyway, so that's a good little uh, learning curve that we learned uh, the other day. So yeah, UPS battery bank, highly recommend. And they're not all that expensive either. We bought kind of the mid-range one, about a hundred bucks. Ordered it from Amazon, so delivered right to our door. Anyway, uh, peace out guys and enjoy your Saturday. I know I will. God bless everybody. Hola guys and girls. So I just wanted to hop on quickly again here today and just uh, talk about our little convection oven that we got. This is, uh, in our place here we have this induction stove and we had a hard time getting pans to work on it and if, if you're, I notice a lot of the places here in Mexico have these stupid stove tops like I'm sure they do have some positive aspects to them but for myself I would, they're just really pain trying to find pans that work on them so I ended up buying these pans in here just I'll just be and if you notice a lot of places in Mexico when you're shopping uh, for apartments or townhouses or houses or whatever a lot of them don't have ovens there's they don't use ovens here so people have barbecues like we have a barbecue outside in the common area that we can use and so just keep that in mind when you are shopping for a place if you get uh, if you end up renting a place it just has this stupid uh, type of stove counter cooktop um sorry uh with the in what are they called again induction induction sorry <laughs> so i got this frying pan here and i thought it didn't work because it had these grooves in it but now so i went and bought another one today and it said it was electric for a, for electric stove so i thought oh this will work and it's got a smooth bottom and this one don't work either now i'm thinking is because it's too big to fit like it, it goes past those rings and then we did buy a small set uh, when we first moved in and Jen bought them and I think we just lucked out to be honest with you so it's got a smooth bottom it's just a cheap set uh, we're not rich here so you know nothing fancy uh, so anyway but this sits nicely in between the lines on the big stove mind you I shouldn't say that because it does work over here too and it hangs out over top I don't know what the deal is but it works anyway on here and those ones there don't so I don't know what the problem is but that one even says electric on it so this one here said electric right on the, the package is for electric stove so anyway you could go buy an induction frying pan for big dollars so now I've already bought two frying pans I was going to either sell them or we're, I was actually going to return this one here but then I thought you know what I just went to Amazon and I just ordered uh, a coil two coil burner electric stove that you just plug in I'm sure you've all seen them before especially as older people you know the grandma and grandpa had it at the house we had it at our cabin you know people have it for their lake cottages or whatever right that's what we had one at our cabin I'm sure and then uh, yeah so no oven right so we went and got this i was gonna get a barbecue eventually but it's so hot to cook outside anyway like it's always hot out so stand outside cook a bar on a barbecue or get a little convection oven and cook inside the house where the ac is going so yeah anyway that's a little tidbit of information when you're shopping in mexico for an apartment or whatever um these stupid induction stoves keep that in mind if you ever come across one because uh, they're a pain, I'll tell you. Try to find a frying pan that works on them. Or you're going to spend, you know, five, six hundred, six hundred pesos to buy an induction frying pan. You know, a nice, good one, right? You know, so I figured it was better off just to buy that stove. It was, uh, I bought the cheapest one I could find on Amazon for 500 and some pesos. <laughs> Actually, I think it was 600 pesos. So whatever, not very much money, 600 pesos. And I'll be able to use these frying pans that I already have now with them. So, anyway, I just want to throw that out there. Another one of my little uh, information videos. And I uh, can't wait to try out the toaster oven. I might even get a frozen pizza one night. 
have some frozen pizza. Peace out, guys. I just want to talk about cooking here for a second. Um, so we got uh, rice going. We got a, I don't know, a little variety pack. I don't, whatever. It's a one pot dinner. <laughs> but I'm chopping some fresh garlic here. Jen made us this nice salad here already. Got nice vegetables in it. Not a lot of color. I shouldn't put no green, red pepper. Anyway, I'm all about presentation, so, but I was a chef most of my life. So really this salad's got nothing for color. Maybe I'll grate up some of my carrots there, put that in there. Anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, back home in Canada, we used to, uh, a lot of time, not all the time, like I'd make supper sometimes when you're actually chopping and cooking stuff, right? But uh, lots of times it was just, you know, uh, you're tired, you come home, you throw, throw a piece of meat in the oven and throw some potatoes on in a pot and boil it, you know, that's, and throw some vegetables in, maybe chop some fresh vegetables. We would always steam our vegetables back home for the most part. Sometimes we did use frozen vegetables, absolutely. Or canned vegetables, like I like my canned cream corn. I mean, who doesn't like cream corn, right? <laughs> so anyway, I find here though in Mexico, with all this fresh ingredients, we're like every day chopping and, and you know, making stuff with fresh ingredients, fresh vegetables and, and uh, you know, fresh fish and whatnot. So we're, it's the, the meal prep is a little bit more involved I'm finding here, so so yeah, but I I mean if you could still do the the old routine of just throwing something in the oven and throwing some spices on it and sitting down and watching TV, but we've really been taking it to uh, trying to take it to the Mexican level or you know Canadian version of the Mexican level, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. You know we're uh, we're trying to get involved here and uh, doing a little bit more hands-on for cooking and. Instead of just the same old, same old, throwing a piece of meat in the oven and throwing some boiled potatoes on and, you know, slapping some butter and on it and salt and pepper, right? <laughs> so, yeah, we've been, uh, and throwing different spices in, right, that we don't normally use and making things a little bit hotter and a little bit spicier. I don't mind spicy food and, you know, you're cooking at home now, you can uh, make it the way you like it, right? If you don't like it too spicy, don't put too much in. If you like it spicy, put lots in. Anyway, so I just wanted to throw that out there, and that's, uh, I hate this induction stove, I really do. <laughs> anyway, peace out, guys. Have a good night. Ciao. Buenos dias, guys and girls. I just wanted to jump on here quickly again today. I really got to stop saying that. <laughs> anyway, I was going to talk about buying a motorcycle earlier in my previous videos. I was going to get a motorcycle first, and then get a car. Well, I've changed my mind on that actually. I think I'm going to buy, I, well I will be buying a car first and then I'll get a motorcycle after. I think I'll uh, learn how to drive on four wheels around Mexico before I attempt to go on two wheels around Mexico. <laughs> Driving here is definitely a lot different than in Canada and the US. It's uh, very, very different. So, I mean, I've been driving motorcycles since I was 16 years old. I've had my bike license, but I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a car first and then uh, get a motorcycle after just for this for safety reasons. Just get used to, uh, to driving here, uh, people's driving habits, uh, the signage, you know, all that fun stuff, uh, learning my route, where I'll be traveling to. I imagine I'll just be staying in my own little bubble for the first little while until I get used to driving here and then I'll just slowly event eventually just keep uh, expanding my my uh, distance away from home <laughs> as I get more comfortable driving here so anyway I don't see any problems to be honest with you I'm a pretty good driver I feel so you know uh, but I am going to go ahead and get a car first and I'll get a little scooter or motorcycle whatever you want to call it I'll get that after anyway adios and have yourself a fabulous day